Okay, a lot of people have been asking me how to uh, use fraps. Okay, well right now I'm monitoring my desktop and I have the Sims running in a windowed screen and it's loading right now, at least it's supposed to be. So what I did, and I don't have my cursor showing, so what I did is, if you can see the check marks here, what I did is I um, checked fraps, windows always on top, I'm in general mode right now, run fraps when windows starts, and I normally this is unchecked, monitor aereo desktop, uh, desktop DWM, and then this one is always checked, minimize to system tray only, and it'll go right into your system tray. Okay, I only have the monitor, um, the DWM on right now, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, then you click on 99 FPS. Okay, now the benchmark for that is F11. Okay, the overlay is F12. That just shows you wherever your number is on your screen. Like right now, you can see it's in my upper left hand corner, and that's where I like it. If you want it elsewhere, then you can move it elsewhere. Okay, but you see that I have it over here to the upper left hand corner. Okay, and then it says stop benchmarking after 60 seconds. You know, only if you have that checked. Okay, you really should probably leave that alone. It's up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to go into movies. Okay, my capture key is F F9, which is the normal capture key. Okay, so I have it at full size, 60 frames per second, 29.97. My loop buffer is 30 seconds. I do not split my movie every four gigabytes. I do that by myself. Okay. If you have the unpaid version, it may do it for you. Now you see that I have my mouse cursor hidden in the video. Okay, but I can uncheck that and see now you can see the mouse cursor. So I'll just check it back to where you can't see it. Okay, because a lot of times you don't want people to see that. Okay, now I also have it checked to record the Windows 7 sound and I have it checked in stereo. And then I have record external input. And I have my, um, you can see that my Longitech USB mouse headset is hooked up in there as well. Okay. And then you can also check down here only capture while pushing the space bar. That's a pain in the ass. So I don't do that. Okay. Not unless I'm filming in Body Shop. When I'm filming in Body Shop, I disable my F9 key and I change it to the space key because Body Shop uses the F9 key. So that's the only time I ever change that and then after I'm done with Body Shop I change it back to F9. Okay, so then I also use Fraps for my screenshots. Okay, and for a screenshot capture you're going to use F10. I like PNGs. Some of you guys like, might like BMPs or JPGs or TGAs, but I like PNGs. So that's where I've got it set at. If you don't have the, the paid for registered version like I do, then you're automatically going to get PNGs anyway. Okay, so if you want to set screen capture, uh, screen capture settings over here, then you can click either one of these you know, if you want to. But I just leave it really with, with the uh, default. Okay, and so what I'm going to do, since I've already showed you this, I'm going to go back to uh, general over here and I'm going to unclick the monitor my my desktop because I want it to monitor my game okay I'm gonna wait for my game to load but I want it to monitor my game so I can film for you so I can show you what it's doing okay so that's where we're gonna go okay here we go yeah, Fraps has a bad habit of stopping what it's doing when you're loading something. Do you see this installation right here? You can hear Diablo Deception talk. You can hear her talking. As you can hear, there's a battle raging. This this base right here belongs to the Seminati. Somebody built the top part of it, 
at only the top part. I built the rest. The goth house that's been cleaned. Okay. Now. This is the Urgent message. Operative number 22. I can go up like this. This is Strange Town in TS2. And you can see the crash saucers and all that kind of stuff. I'm using my arrow keys because in windowed mode it's really hard to use your mouse for some odd reason. Here's where Bella Goth is. This is the um, secret scientific base that her and her husband had. Here's the one that I just got done building. There's Will Wright and his big head. You're liable to see a flying, sa flying saucer come over. And yeah, the underground is under attack. Look at all these flying saucers, you guys. And yeah, we're recording this. This is perhaps recording. Okay. There's another goth household right there. Okay. This is the world of the Seminati. Please contact after you've decoded the message. This is Diablo Deception. Seminati HQ out. And you may hear that message more than once. Okay, no, now you're going to hear my son's music. You won't hear any TS2 music in my game just while it's loading. I can't stop it from doing that. Here's the beakers. I'm just doing this in windowed mode so I can show you some stuff. And I can actually go in. And I can hit this. And while I'm talking to you, I can turn down the music. Okay. Let me just... Jeez. So I'm going to hit F10. Okay, I just took a brilliant snapshot of that. I'm going to hit F10 again. And I'll get another snapshot. When Fraps decides it wants to do it. There. And it'll flash white just for a second when you take a snapshot at it. But it both records at the same time that you take a snapshot. And actually I can take a pretty epic snapshot of this right here, which I will do. Got it. That's pretty cool. That's actually Will Wright's head. He's the creator of the Sims themselves. That's a pretty epic shot. I'm kind of liking this. Yeah, let me take... <laughs> Let me take a picture of this. I don't have any pictures of Will Wright's head. I'm pretty sure people would have liked to have had that. Especially after the SimCity disaster. And I'm going to take a picture of, like, 
all my debris, my spaceship debris. <laughs> Just to show you guys that I can do this. Okay. But yeah, if it stops recording for any given reason, you can always make it record again. But just be mindful that in windowed mode, it has a fit. Okay, I'm in windowed mode. Some people say it won't keep recording. Well, hell no. Not while the game is loading and not in windowed mode. It, it will give you a problem. If you're in full game mode, you usually don't have an issue. I know that for a fact. There's one of the houses that I built. I'm having to use my arrow keys, and I'm not used to doing that with my game. I'm used to just coming in here, full-fledged, playing the game, you know, whatever. I only went into windowed mode, which I usually never do. Like I said, just to make this video, to show you guys that Fraps works and how it works. So, I've seen some videos, and they were pretty piss poor, so I thought, oh my god, if I couldn't learn from that, you guys definitely, you know, I can't, I mean, I've got to have people spell it out for me. So I thought, you know, they're they're not that great, so let me help, you know, you guys out. I've heard people ask, how in the world do you use Fraps? It's too hard for me, it's too hard for me. You know, no, it's not that hard of a program, I promise. It's really not. Anybody can use Fraps. Fraps is temperamental. If you have a low-end computer, please don't try and use it because it's a pain in the ass. And your computer may well not like it. So... Just a word to the wise. <clears throat> okay. So, this is the, the goth installation. And I just took a snapshot of it. If you saw the numbers up there, if you can see them, I don't know if you can see them or not, but they flashed from red to white just for a second. And that's how you know that you actually were successful in taking a snapshot. This house right here belongs to Jenny Smith. Okay, and I can, you know, snap a shot of that or whatever, or I can keep on traveling, um, if it lets me. Oh my god, it's like up and down, because I don't know how to control it very well. Okay, now actually, this is a house of one of my other Sims. Let me get back down there. Damn it. Ugh. I'm starting to hate this. Come on, man. All right. All right. Okay, that's good. Good enough, good enough. I'm not going to gripe about that. Okay, and I just, you know, touched it very quickly, and it took a snapshot. And you'll find that you can take some pretty epic uh, snapshots with this. I mean, you'll you'll get snapshots that you never thought you'll be, you know, you would ever be able to capture with this. I have the paid version, but I used the free version for a really long time until I learned how to use this really learned how to use it and whenever I really learned how to use it I thought you know man this program is like my new best friend and so I'm gonna get the paid version because I really love this program this program is awesome and so that's what I did the, pay, the paid version is only thirty five dollars to register it that's per camera or per computer, I should say. And uh, it's worth it. I don't know of another in game camera that you can get that's going to do everything that Fraps does. You know, I mean, the in game camera for Sims 2 or for the Sims period for any of their games is not going to do what Fraps does. You're not going to be able to do the Let's Plays like this does, you're not going to be able to do anything like this does. This camera is awesome. And actually, oh, that's a pretty good shot. If Strange Town would get out of the way, that would be like a better shot. But I don't know. I'm taking that shot anyways. You know, show and tell time on Twitter. You know how that is. Anyway, no, it's you can do some pretty epic stuff with this. You know, if you just follow my instructions. And like I said, it's so easy to use. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come out of the game. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this. Yeah, I'm Okay. Okay, so we're back on my desktop again. 
And as you know, okay, I'm clicking on movies, and we just went into my game, and it just recorded. Well, if you click here, I'm going to show you what recorded at. And actually, documents wouldn't be the place that we would want to go. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, we want to go to computer because we're going to go. Okay, fraps. Okay, movies. Ah, look movies. Okay, now if you remember what I showed you, wait for it to load. Do you see it loading up here and the green is moving? It looks like, like green jello or slime or whatever up there. <laughs> it's moving around. Okay, and remember I told you about the snapshots that I took at the same time that I was filming? Watch this. I'll show you. Okay. Check this out. Okay, it tells you how long it is too. And these are in HD. Okay, so then watch this. Okay, this is Let's Play 13 and I decided to let you come in and watch me create Sal. Okay, that's not what we just did. What we just did, I think, is it up here? Let me see. Yeah, it's right here. Here you go. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me how to uh, use fraps. Okay, well right now I'm monitoring my desktop. And I have the Sims running in windowed screen. And it's loading right now. At least it's supposed to be. So what I did and I don't have my cursor showing. So what I did is, if you can see the check marks here, what I did is I, uh, okay, we're going to stop that right now. So we know that part copied. Okay, that was fraps. We're going to go to the next part. And we're going to see if that copied. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm having it monitor the desktop again. Okay got that part now did it go into game well we're gonna find out what is this we don't know what that is it's a video clip that's 3.93 gigabytes it better be something it's awfully heavy to be nothing oh my god so then what is it um, let's see. Let's see if this is it. Yep, okay. this is it. Here we go. Yeah, Fraps has a bad habit of stopping what it's doing when you're loading something. Yep. This is what I recorded. There's Diablo Deception's message. Okay, I'm going to have to edit all this together just to make one thing. And this is the other part of it. Jeez. So I'm going to hit F10. Okay, I just took a brilliant snapshot of that. I'm going to hit F10 again. And I'll get another <laughs> snapshot. When Fraps decides it wants to do it. There. And it'll flash white just for a second when you take a snapshot at it. But it both records at the same time that you take a snapshot. It sure does. And actually, I can take a pretty epic snapshot of this right here, which I will do. Got it. That's pretty cool. Okay, speaking of that epic snapshot, here's where you go and here's where you find it. Okay, so we know we got all the film footage. So then go back into Fraps and, and click on Snapshots. And then come down here. 
Yes, Fraps. And go. Here we go. Look over here to the right. There are my snapshots that I took while I was filming. See them? Look at this. There's Will Wright's head. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies. There's Will Wright's head. There's another snapshot of his head. There's my installation inside my game. There's the Bella, well, there's the goth installation, and there's all the flying saucers. There's another snapshot of Will Wright's head. See? And, you know, another great thing about Fraps is that you see the numbers while it's filming, while you're taking snapshots, but the numbers do not show while or after um, it takes the pictures and after the filming is over with. You don't see the numbers anymore. Okay, see? And I got some great snapshots. So, for show and tell, yay! So anyway, I'm going to go back in, I'm going to click off of that since you know that the video is there and you know that the snapshots are there and then I'm going to come in here and click click on fraps again and I'm going to go back over it one more time with you guys click on general okay if you wanted to monitor your desktop like it's doing mine right now the DWM which is the monitor aerial desktop usually is not check marked okay if you wanted to do what mine is doing right now check mark that okay and that's to do what I'm doing right now on my messy desktop <laughs> okay so but if you don't want that then just leave it uncheck marked no issues okay everything else needs to be check marked um, if you want it the way that I've got it okay check mark uh, fraps window always stay on top okay uh, run fraps when Windows starts um, I always run it when Windows starts until my computer is turned off and then minimize to system tray only okay then click over here 99 uh, FPS your benchmarking key is F11 the overlay key is F12 the overlay key means that okay you see my numbers um, I don't know if you can see them or not but they're up there in the upper left hand corner I like them up there if you want to move them somewhere else press F12 until you have the numbers where you want them that's what the overlay hotkey is okay as if you you can tell over here the F11 key okay the benchmark settings nothing else is checked underneath that I don't have anything else checked I don't need anything else checked right now so we're gonna move on movies okay just click on that okay now F9 is my hotkey I like F9 is my hotkey unless I'm using um, in TS2 unless I'm using um, Body Shop. Body Shop also uses the F9 hotkey. Therefore, I disable that and use the space key instead. When I'm done using Body Shop, then I will change the hotkey back to F9. But that's irrelevant for you guys that don't use TS2 or Body Shop. So ignore that part if you're not using TS2. If you're using TS2, then be warned. Okay, now 60 frames per second is what I have it on, and I have it on full size. Okay, loop buffer length is, is 30 seconds here. Um, you can have it split your movie every 4 gigabytes if you don't want to get your computer overwhelmed. I don't have an issue with that, so I don't have it checked. I just am mindful of, you know, splitting my movie if I'm, if it's, you know, if I'm processing something too long or whatever, if I'm filming for too long. I don't like to have my cursor inside of what I'm filming. Therefore, I have it check marked to hide my mouse inside my videos. Okay, you can also lock your frame rate while you're recording, and you can also force lossless RGB capture, but it can cause your computer and your filming to be a lot slower. So that's up to you. Okay, you can also choose to only capture while you're pushing the space bar. That's a pain in the ass. I don't like doing that. So I don't have that check marked either. But, okay. You can have it check mark to capture your Windows 7 sound in stereo or in multi-channel. I have mine in stereo and I have it check marked to capture that. I also have it captured or, or rather check marked to capture 
record external input. That would be from my headset that you're hearing me from now. Okay. And then over here, click screenshots up at the top. And F10 is the one that takes my screen captures. You can use screen captures on websites or anything else you want to use it on. And just like you saw me do in game, you saw me take screenshots of like, um, well, where Wright's head for example or the UFOs. Okay, and they were taken in PNGs because that was what I chose. That's what I have check marked. You can check mark any of those that you want if you have the paid version. If you don't have the paid version, then you really won't have too much of a choice. PNG will be what you'll get. Okay, if you have the paid version, then you'll be able to choose anything that you want here that's lined up. Okay, and over to the right, you can choose to include frame, uh, frame rate overlay as screen or on screen shots, and then repeat screen capture every how many ever seconds. You can change that if you want to until hotkey is pressed again. That's a pain in the ass also, but I don't have it checked. I don't need it. But if you need it, you want it, you want to use it, that's up to you. Then you can do that. But Fraps is super, super easy to use. But just know one thing that if you're going to record something, it doesn't like to record while you're loading your game. I'm not kidding. If you are loading your game, don't turn Fraps on until after your game is fully loaded and ready to go. Then turn Fraps on and then start your recording. Because if you start Fraps while your game is loading, it's going to turn itself off and on constantly and you're going to get pissed off and frustrated. So take it from me. Don't, and you saw it for yourself, don't turn Fraps on until your game is fully loaded and ready to go. The game and, and Fraps like to fight with each other, so honestly, just don't turn it on until you're ready to go. If you have any questions for me, then just go ahead and put it in the comment section. I'll have to approve your comments, but as soon as I see them, then I'll answer your question if I can. Um, I do have the paid version, the registered version. It's $35, but um, I didn't pay for this for a long time after I had Fraps. But once I was confident and a confident user of Fraps, then I went ahead and I paid for it, and it's been one of the best 35 bucks I've ever spent. So it's very easy to use. I mean, there's nothing difficult about it at all. Nothing. It's, it's a very easy program. And if you look on my YouTube channel, you can see all the Let's Plays, everything else that I've done with it. And it's lightweight. It's, it's not super heavy. It's not going to take up a bunch of space unless, of course, you make a lot of films that you don't delete when you're done. You know, that's up to you. Um, let me show you where, again, where it's going to go. And just click on your computer. Okay, and then C is where it goes. And then you click on, double click on Fraps and then movies and if you look it's gonna go right here into movies you can make another folder for it to go into and and place it anywhere you want I mean perhaps we'll stick you know the movies wherever you want you can make a YouTube folder if you want to and and put it in that folder but I like to keep everything where I feel like it goes you know if it if it's fraps it's gonna go in the fraps folder that's where I'm gonna put it and that way nothing gets lost I don't forget about it or whatever so anyway this is where it normally goes and then I can hit the back button right here and then you just go right down to screenshots and bam here's your screenshots you know right down here you know they're all down here like this I mean there you go there's your screenshots and there's some screenshots that I took today